And so Patsy is extremely passionate about helping people to understand and appreciate their true worth. She uses her gift of speaking to motivate, inspire and help others transform into the individuals they were created to be. Please welcome our next speaker, Patsy Nelson, with her speech entitled, Trust the Inner You. Good evening. Good evening. Oh gosh, good evening. Good evening. Okay, thank you. Please make me welcome. <laughs> okay, so did you know that we, when we were born, we were born into systems? Because the world is made up of systems. There's a system for this and there's a system for that. There's systems for everything. And these systems are designed to control us, if you like. And I have to say that carefully because some systems are very good, but I'm talking about those systems that say, for example, you have to colour inside the box. When we had our children, parents, when our children started colouring, we were all excited. Oh, look, oh, look what he's doing, look what she's doing. And then they get to school and you're all excited. You go to school and then what happens? They say, you have to colour inside the box. But why? Who said? Who said that we have to colour inside the box? Who says we have to stay inside the lines? Who said we have to colour in that direction? Or oh, it looks messy. That's because we're being socialised. We're being conformed, we're being systemized, if you like. We're being forced into a way that suits everybody else. And if you operate outside of that system, you look strange. The word conformity, to conform, to fit in, there's labels attached when you don't. The problem with that is that it doesn't suit everybody because we all have an inner person. There's an inner me inside, someone inside there going, I want something more or I want something else. See me now, I've never had a desire to be a bricklayer because the inner me didn't want that. I've never had a desire to be a cricketer because that's not me either. I've never wanted to be a dentist. That's not me. But there was something inside of me that was saying, this is what I want to be. The problem is, is that there are labels and there are certain boxes that people put us in. And the problem with these boxes is that once you're in them, sometimes you get stuck and you can't get out. So what I'm gonna to say to you now is, if you have got something inside of you, which many of us do, how do you get out? How do you become the person that you really want to be? You've got to be quiet long enough to hear that voice. But the problem is, is that we, we live in a busy world it's crowded, there's lots of noise, there's systems for everything. You can't go to work when you feel like it, you can't dress like how you feel like it because you may have to have a uniform to wear, for example. Can't, you know, you've got to fit in with the school system, you've got, there's so many systems out there. But then one day, something happens to some of us. And the thing that happens is there's a trigger and that trigger could be maybe a book that you've read. It could be a motivational speaker that you heard. Those of you know Les Brown, mm -hmm. Anthony Robbins, could be anybody like that. Somebody or something would trigger off. It could be something, it could even be a movie that you've watched, something that triggers off the inner you. And then all of a sudden, that something starts to make you believe that I can and you start to think to yourself, 
I don't have to operate within the systems, within these ways. And you want to break free. And you start to then think, actually, I can. And the I can then turns into I will. You start to think, I can do it. I will do it. I must do it. And the must, what drives you must, is your why. You have to find that why. Why do you want to do this thing? And when you find that why, you become so determined, nothing is going to stop you. Absolutely nothing. You will carry on and nothing will stop you until you get to wherever that you're trying to get to. The good news is, is that when you reach in that place, you're now ready to break out, to break free, to come out of the systems. Now, I'm not talking about breaking the law. I'm talking about coming out of the, 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 the things that sort of hold you captive to where you're really trying to get to. So what I'm talking about is hearing that inner voice inside that says, I want to be, or I want to go, or I want to do. And you start to think, I can do it, I will do it, I must do it. And then all of a sudden, you do everything you can to do it. Nothing will stop you. When you reach in that place, I guarantee you, if you want to do it, the things that seemed impossible at that time, all of a sudden, they're possible. Things that people told you you couldn't do, you can now do them. Because all of a sudden, there's something inside of you that's driving you, that's saying to you, you know what? I can do it, I can do it. And then it's when you get into that place and that space, you realize that you're able to do the things that you were really, really created to do. And you know what that brings? A sense of fulfillment. It brings you joy, it brings you peace, it brings you happiness. And more importantly, it leads you closer to your purpose. And guess what then? Because you know that you're doing something that you love, you don't have those Monday morning blues where you have to get up and go to work and you're looking forward to the weekend to come because you will be doing the things that you love to do, the things that you really want to do. And then, you know what? You start to realize when you're living in your purpose, it becomes relevant that the inner you all this time was crying out for you to be a better you for somebody else, locally, nationally, and even internationally. So what I'm gonna say to you is, trust the inner you, because the inner you will lead you to the best you, the best you that you can be, not just for you, not just for your family, not just for your local community, but for the wider, the wider world. Imagine being that much of a change. Imagine, imagine if your inner you were saying, I feel like I could be a president. I feel like I could be, you know, I don't know, whatever your dream is. I feel like I could go here. I feel like I could go there. I feel like I could be a dentist. I want to do that. If you have that feeling inside of you, think to yourself, why have I got that feeling? Why do I think that I can do that? I don't have that feeling. I may not have the same feeling as you. That's because I probably wasn't created to do that and specifically not like you. So whatever that feeling is, just listen. Listen out for that feeling, listen out for that voice because that's the inner you crying out to be the real you, the you that you were created to be. Thank you.